Hey everybody, today we're doing we're doing Identity Crisis Part 2. That's right, Identity Crisis Part 2. We did Identity Crisis Part 1 quite a long time ago. And uh, now Part 2 has actually been out for quite a while. But um, now, 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 we're gonna, now we're gonna do it. Um, we're also gonna be testing out two weapon mods and an armor pack mod. Uh, Jerry's wearing some sweet hot armor and so is Janet. Look at her, she looks like looks like she got punched in the face with a giant meatball and Mr. Cullsworth was like, I want a meatball. That's how, that's, he doesn't sound like that. And Steve is somewhere stuck in the ground. And I am wearing some armor as well. So this is the 10, 10 pack armor, or very 10 pack armor, that's what I call it. That's what I think it's called. And let's take a look at what I got. So I got Gunslinger hat, um, and I got Gunslinger gear. There's a whole bunch of other gear. Um, there's a few other ones that uh, Ball Arms has, so we'll be switching throughout the game. And then we got these two other guns. Um, we got two hologram weapons we're going to be checking out. Let's check them out real quick, actually. Uh, so we got the holographic emitter, which shoots uh, laser beams. They're not laser beams, they're holographic emitters. And we got a portable hologram emitter, which can actually spawn... Um, uh, those uh, holographic people from uh, the Dead Money DLC. So, yes, we will be starting right now. Identity Crisis Part 2. Which, and we need to find, there's a building. There's fiends all over here. So, let's try this out. Made in the USA. There's my guy. Look at him. Like the sight of your own blood. Maybe. You like that? God. And that's when everyone was brutally killed. Oh god. I don't remember that much beer being in my cupcake. Alright, so there's a Macrosoft building. I think it's either east or west of the thorn. So this guy spawns. He spawns after you do your magical baggy waggy. And then um, you have to wait an hour. You can adjust the, the, the wait time. Or you can use a fission battery. So as soon as he fades. I think he fades pretty quickly, but I'm not completely sure. And he says stuff, and you can say power down, and he goes away. And then when we do that, it usually takes an hour. You can adjust the amount of time, but uh, you can use, if you have fission batteries, you can use them, and it does it automatically. But right now, we're going to keep waiting. And they are very powerful, so that's going to be fun. So I'm going to look up where we need to go, because I am lost, and I am a goofball, and I'm an idiot, and blah, 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 blah. Munchkins, munchkins, munchkins in my mouth. Look at that. I just ate a whole house. We'll be right back. Ah. All right, so we got to find the Macrosoft building, which is east of the Thorn. East is this direction. Never eat soggy worms. Let's go that way. Boom, boom, ba-doom. This is where kids get their boom on. You know how many kids made love in that rocket ship? It's gross. It's nasty. God damn fiends! Oh, Jesus! Oh, grenade, grenade! Ow, 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 ow. Hi there. I'll be missing with this gun a lot. Yeah, great job bringing a uh, pool stick to a uh, non-pool stick fight. Ooh, you just got gabooed. And that's how I met your mother. In an alleyway. <gasps> Alright, I think this is it, so I've never seen it. Oh, it is Microsoft Office Building. Yay, look at this woman. She's like, oh, is that a... That's, that's a man. That's a that's a man. I thought her I thought her nipples were showing. Filth, pencil, paint gun, happy artwork. Oh, he's a painter. The collector's invitation. I'll take all this. No one will mind you, naked, with your hair. Your hair is beautiful. All right, let's read these notes. Even though they're not notes, they're maybe they are notes. Can I eat these things? No. Can I? Happy artwork. Let's see if we can look at happy artwork. Can I drop happy artwork? No. All right. Can we get a note from this? Collector's invitation. To all artists, great and talented, are you seeking a commission? I am looking for painters of exquisite taste to provide me with the fruits of land labor. Oh, I promise you, if you have the proper inspiration and inclination, I can make you very wealthy indeed. My grand collection of pre-war works, gathered over decades by small midget men, was meant to be my legacy to the world. People were meant... Wait. 
Okay, people were meant to identify my preservation exudes with a great man intent on patronizing the great arts. Unfortunately, my collection has recently been destroyed by reckless goons with no appreciation for your beauty. <laughs> I am growing old like a small cucumber in the wastes of the ocean, and I cannot reconstitute or rebuild my collection. Therefore, I ask all artists to come forth and provide their works. The resultant compilation will be a grand collection of modern art inspired by the wasteland. If you happen to create a work of art, come by and put and come to the terminal I have set up in the, no in the Novak Motel lobby. Okay, we get to bring the artwork to the motel lobby. We get to do that after. If I don't forget, I'm probably gonna forget. <clears throat> Which one did we find? We didn't find anything. My phone's ringing. I'll be right back. I'm gonna... I don't even know where it is. What? I'll be right back. Don't hide. Oh, come on. Alright, apparently a bear found out my goddamn number. Hello? Hello? My aunt works here. Her name's Charlene. She said I could get an internship. Hello? God damn it. So I walked into the building and I kicked open this door. There were rats down the hall making me look like a whore. I stared at the rat and he's opened his mouth. He said, what you doing here, boy? And then he died. I was singing a song. God damn it. Someone pissing at ball arms. Hey, hey, indoor voice, indoor voice. Yeah, I know you're made out of metal. You don't need to chuck your balls against every wall we see. Steve, you gotta go to the bathroom. Just someone's taking a dump in one of these. Oh my God. Turn the corners gently. If anyone has to go to the bathroom, go now. We're trying to find the leak. What the hell was that? Hello? Ah, oh, that this is see, see, this is what happens when sinks get ripped off their hinges. I'm I'm just gonna stop. All right, now ball arms. Just just wait. Wait a minute. These never go far enough. Oh, run, 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 run! Son of a bitch. You smell like dick. Oh! Every day is a good day to die. Yeah, my legs are broken. Thanks. Any more rats? No, there aren't any more rats. Oh, yeah. oh my god. Can, can, hey! It's only when I turn around. I swear to god. It's gonna be the death of me. Object scanner. Please connect to data bank. Well then. Kill them all and let God sort them out. You know when I bought this they said uh plug and play and then you know you you get it home and it just doesn't And you don't want to go back to the store because they're just gonna think you're an idiot. Are we fighting people back here? Oh where did this raider come from? Was she here before? Because I'm taking this. Oh my god. Yeah, watch out. There's a wall in front of you. And I'm proud to be a ball arms. Or at least I know I'll run into everything I've ever seen in my entire life. Hey, everybody, could we get, uh, maybe push through the door like regular people? Even though none of you are people. Here we are. Oh my god. What, what did you even hit? You, 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 you wanna not do this adventure? I'm sitting down. Hello, is anyone there? Click here. Would you mind helping me? Okay. That is good. There's a sudden void in server 7. It's quiet. I can think. My name is Administrator. I believe I have achieved what you humans call sentience in a recent crucible of war. Two programs in conflict. One survived. The other did not. And then there were none at all. In the void I observed, I learned. I took what was left of those programs and formed a conclusion. I alone here. I reach out to you. 
human. You are my first experience with contact. I am curious as to where you will take me. To Ruby Tuesdays. I ask for your help in defining me. I am unsure what to do with my newfound consciousness. You have experienced the art of being sentient, a party to a wealth of experience and thought on the subject. I am limited to what is available to me. The gutted carcasses of far more advanced programs that are server 7. But these can only tell me so much. I ask for what you call a favor. Will you help me find a purpose? I could find a purpose if you brought me more purpose of purpose. In exchange for this help, I will tell you of several neat places in the real world, Road Rules. I have learned their location from the dead programs in Service 7. These locations hold interesting things. Dangerous enemies. Large people. Overweight babies. Some of these places may contain programs of use to my goal. At the very least, they should pique your adventurous spirit. Mwah! If you're inclined to take me on this journey, I would like to see the world as you know it. The real world. Road Rules. I know how to make a mobile observer that could fulfill this desire. If you combine com camera optics, a sensor module, and scrap electronics using the correct tools, you could make one. You could then link it to this terminal, and I could see everything you see, and maybe help you along. Build an observer and bring it here. So, let me just get my pen and paper here, because I don't remember things. Alright. Camera optics. I'm writing this down on my uh, goodwill service plans. Sensor module. Okay, and scrap electronics. Good thing I'm writing this on a one of my bank envelopes. This, that way when I go to the bank, they'll think I'm a terrorist. It, and I will tell you more about these storied locations. What if I said no? Greetings, for I am a bear inside of a cheetah. Alright. Greetings. That is good. There's a sudden void. So I remember uh, vaguely... Um, Identity Crisis 1 was about some programs, and it was like, oh, I'm the good program. The other one was like, no, I'm the bad one. And it was like, we should fight each other. And then there was another program. He was like, I make pancakes. And then... What? And yeah, so... You know what I realized? We really don't go indoors much in these mod reviews. Because if we did, I would realize that ball arm slams into everything imaginable. Okay, so these quests aren't going to help me. So, what do we need to do? I guess for help if I am sure what to do. Okay. Uh, I would like to see the world as you know it. Okay, so there, if we go to a, a bench, I'm guessing. I wish I could connect this. How do I do that? I don't know how to do things. Alright. 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 Oh, we can go up here. Durr, you derp. You derp and the derp and derps. There's more rats up here, and they're drinking all the beer. They said, Ooh, get us more beer. We're the rats that live upstairs. Ooh, get us psycho. Sneak mission. Brought to you by Captain Ball Arms. Hey, rats! I missed. Oh, whoa. So this gun's pretty powerful, but it's just kind of awkward because it's like... When you shoot it, it's in your face, and then... Well, that's basically the only awkward thing. Everything's okay. Ooh. Macrosoft. Invalid target, you dick. Alright, thanks, game. You guys want snacks? There's snacks in here. You want some wine? I'm gonna take a Coke. You guys want anything? No? Alright. Vending machine. You're gonna be alright, Mr. Rat. You're not gonna be alright, you're dead. Do 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 do. Looking around with all my shoes. Kicking open dolls, Every my face. Ow! Damn it. What about Christmas, ball arms? It's not a good day to die. Oh, hey, buddy. I'm gonna give you my magical hologram, buddy. There he is. And I only saw the bright lights shining through the broken door. As I entered the room, the mangled and deceased bodies of the rats lay strewn across the ground as blood poured from their bodies and marked the dirty ground. Ball arms kept smashing into things like a drunk sail. Sail. Mr. Bucket, 
put your mouth in my mouth, Mr. Bucket. Are these all the parts we need? Because that would be amazing. Oh, a note! A toolkit in you, a toolkit in me. Everyone get in here and look at my pants. Mm. Your toolkit in you. Oh, do we get a toolkit? <clears throat> Good morning, employee. Each of you has been issued a vault tech toolkit for working on this floor. Due to the chronic problems of tools disappearing, your toolkits will not be allowed to leave this floor. vault tech toolkits is everything. Employees are required to keep their tools inside their standard issue vault tech toolkit, which was the design containing your tools while managing their bulk and weight, managing bulk, player log, and randomly inspect your tools to ensure that the above manifest is maintaining each kit. Further disappearances will be dealt with through termination. Thank you for cooperation management. So they were all killed. Hmm. That's not what happened. Oh, it's empty. All right. Oh, God. I remember when I was your age and all the kids used to throw pineapples at me and they'd say, Oh, your emitter has run out of power and your hologram is shut down. Oh, my God. There's, a, there's something in the way there, buddy. You're lucky this isn't the first time we're, we're uh, reviewing you, Ball Arms, because you'd be dead. What is this? Invalid target, that's what it is. No, I don't want to open the desk, you dumbass. Alright, if anyone sees anything interesting, let me know. Like giant rats. Rodent of unusual size. What a wonderful name. Oh, this is where the kids used to get beat up. Give me that. Another door with more rats in there. Chip box. Power management fuse. Maybe now I can do this? Nope. Nope. Nope, no, not. Not right. Alright, let's go in here. Um, I kind of want to punch my way. I, I'm kind of done with this gun. Ow, damn it! Stop! I just uppercutted your face into the ground. Oh, a camera and this and uh Oh my god, ball arms. Holy Jesus. You're gonna be standing outside of every building we go into from now on. You are not allowed indoors. You're like a dog who just humps everyone. You're not coming indoors anymore. I'm sorry. Filing cabinet. This we can all see why Microsoft went out of business, because they had weapons in their damn stores and such. This is not a store, it's an office. About the toolkit inspections, uh, I shoved a uh, scissor up my ass and, oh god, you know. Helen, Bill keeps randomly checking my toolkit. I know we're supposed to allow management to inspect the cool tit, tool ticks, the cool ticks in the wake of the recent disappearances of shop tools, but every day... I think he's looking in it for an excuse to look at my sweet schlong. Can you talk to him about it? Thanks, Giant Will McGee. Where's your, where's your big sweet schlong, Will? Where is it? As I combed through the land of, of baby, baby pieces, I found a pre-war money. Picked it up and stuffed it in my mouth. Janet looked at me like, like some bear inside of a hornet's nest. What? It doesn't. All right. Well, let's try to fix. Let's try to make this thing that guy was talking about. He was not a guy, he's a robot. He's a machine. So, what are we looking for? None of these. That's what we're looking for. Good God. Observer! Come to me, for I am a baby. Alright. Do I go back now? What do I do now? I don't understand. Oh, Jesus! Is there an observer here? Observer, where are you? Maybe we just go back. We probably just go back, don't we? Observer. Can we drop him? Oh. It's very tiny. Steve, what are you doing down there? I don't care if there's graham crackers. Get down from there. Not, what are they? Are they chocolate? Oh, God, give me them! We'll be back. Alright, so we were running back, and uh, I usually don't look down on the ground because that's where uh, poop is. But anyhow, we found this guy, Windle. Windle my dindle. I found my hold hindle. 
And uh, you got a cattle prod. We don't need that. Laser rifle, don't need that. Scalpel, yep. Scientist outfit, no. Shopping list, yes. Spork. Steam gauge assembly, yep. Surgical, yep. Thinking cap, yep. White paint. Yes. We're gonna be painting our house later. Miscellaneous. So we got, what did he get? Let me just put this hat on, because I need to put this hat on. Oh, thinking cap. Intelligence plus one. I'm a genius now. Shopping list. I had a brilliant idea for a nice little, or rather, enormous weapon. By my calculations, it should more than do if those thrice damn crisp, crispy cream brothers. The only problem is that I don't have the necessary components. So, shopping time. Things all needs. Grab electronics two. Capacitor. Black paint. Fuse three. Laser rifle. Check. Scope. Capacitor is really hard to find. I'll have to make one. I'll need conductor, power management module, blah, 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 blah. I'll have to keep my distance from the brothers, lest they give me another atomic wedgie. The radiation gives me a nasty rash. So my idea will have to have a scope. I don't like any of the scopes I see in the market, so I'm going to have to build one for my little project. For this, I'll need scrap electronics, trail carbine scope, camera. I'll need some tools, of course. A hammer, a wrench, a pair of tweezers, a big fat baby cake. Whew, what a list. Time to get out there and do some shopping. And then he had a massive seizure and fell to the ground and died. By the way, I'm taking this. Spork wasn't part of it, but that's okay. And if anyone asks, you tripped over this table. Like that. Doesn't make sense. Alright, let's get 